How to not be a Juju Non Part 2 If you do any of these things you are automatically a Juju Non. You fail puzzles a lot. You have weak stats and lack fairy souls. You only have a few talismans. You are very toxic. First things first. Understand your limits, you cannot just buy a Juju and think you will absolutely shred everything. Focus on your Kata level get at least 200 fairy souls which you can get waypoints for by using, the slash neu souls command, how to buy gear. Get one half shadow assassin with growth protection rejuvenate and depth strider and feather falling on the boots. You should only buy 100% zombie knight chest plates from the highest floor you can use. You need to be kata 14 to use a floor 5. You need kata 19 for floor 6. You need kata 24 for floor 7. You need kata 34 for floor 9, from master mode 6. Also the golden head of the floor you are playing on. All reforged to ancient and 5 starred, 5 star your gear please. Your juju bow needs to be 5 starred. Add a basic bow book with power 6. For ultimate enchant I recommend soul eater on the bow. You can see Swaby using the juju short bow on a golem and taking multiple hits to kill it, then soul eater kicks in and he easily one taps the golems. You can use swarm but soul eater is just cracked. Also buy a 5 starred flower of truth for life steal. Add hot potato books on all your gear it's important fumings are also good if you have the money. Recomming your gear also boosts your stats but it's optional like fumings. Support items. Items like an ornate zombie sword AOTE mana flux, or higher rogue sword conjuring or super boom TNT diffuse kit spirit leaps and stonk are compulsory. If you want items like ice spray wand and, wither cloak sword are also useful but not compulsory. For pet use a level 80 plus baby yeti for EHP and skeleton for damage, I recommend getting a baby yeti with a dwarf turtle shell mitt. Talismans Get all talismans that are less than 3 mil per rest are optional. Use the SBS discord to optimize your talismans. Also 67% attack speed is max for a juju shortbow so getting more is pointless here's the proof. As you can see it took me 25 seconds at 67% and 95% attack speed. When using Juju short bow remember to left and right click as only holding right click will half your DPS. Dungeon Guide Get the following mods, link in the description. As you can see there are various solvers in the mods like NEU and SkyTills. NEU also has a dandy little map for you. This is how you enable the solvers. You can use the dungeon rooms mod to know secret locations and use the stonk to get secrets faster. You should check youtubers like Average Sweat. For better secret routes and dungeon cheeses you need an AOTV for some of them though. Puzzles As you can see with solvers you can easily do puzzles and the juju bow makes blaze puzzle much easier. If you ever fail box puzzle you can break glass and push the button. In tic-tac-toe room instead of wasting time pushing the lever here you can just cheese the chest like this. Trap For trap I recommend buying a bonzo mask and spirit boots and keeping them in your wardrobe for a quick swap. For this variant break the crypt here kill the mob and then equip your silver fish pet. I recommend disabling the dungeon secrets mod here. Then create ghost blocks until you reach the chest and then your room is cleared and you can leave. If your team got all of the secrets and haven't died, 
You don't need the rest if you want the rest then you can use your spirit boots and bonzo mask to get them faster. For this variant use your spirit boots before you enter, which turns you into a ghost and you can fly here and flick the lever then follow this path. Jump while holding a stonk and claim this chest as swords may block and you may not get the chest. It's better to play with people you know in a firm party as you are more in sync with each other. You can use various discord servers like DSG and SBS linked in the description. My story I was doing floor 7 with a party of players with around Kata 28 and honestly I didn't hope much from them, they said they were a firm party but a member had some work to do so they invited me into the party as a sub for a run and they blew my mind. The tank did an up crush the healer healed well and we got a sub 9 run. The party was much better than Kata 32 party finder parties I play with. Finally. Don't be a prick. When you make mistakes say sorry, don't immediately start cussing your teammates. When other players make mistakes and are genuinely sorry, forgive them. This is my personal experience. Once I accidentally failed Blaze Puzzle because I used the right click on my Juju bow and my team was furious and the first thing I did was make fun of myself because I made a mistake, and they forgave me, we restarted, everything was fine also it was on Party Finder. These are all the tips I have if you enjoyed the video and found anything helpful, a like and sub would be appreciated. Also tell me in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see next.